Super Paper Mario. In my opinion, a very underrated game, and a game I really like a lot. In fact, it's actually my favorite game ever, even despite its weird reception. It's a very controversial game, but Super Paper Mario is one of my favorite games ever, and for that reason, it's a very fun game to hack. So, today we're going to get into that a little bit and just play around with this game and, and like editing the memory and stuff. So, as you probably know, Super Paper Mario has this mechanic right here, in which you flip to 3D. However, only Mario can do this. The other characters will automatically return to 2D if you switch to them and you cannot flip with them. However, I have a little magic button here, all I have to do, and voila, you are now playing as Peach in 3D. The game is now locked in 3D mode, so even when I try to switch to, say, Bowser, it will try to put him back in 2D, but the game will remain in 3D. This can be achieved by editing the, the memory of the game and locking the addresses that correspond to this. Um, and I will have a link to a really, really useful blog that someone made um, about this, which is how I figured out how to do this. And when you're in 3D with a character other than Mario, you can't use their special ability that requires you to press down. Because obviously pressing down would mean you walk this way. The only character ability that can be used in 3D is... Peach's float because it doesn't require you to press down. And it actually is kind of cool how it's fully functional in 3D. Now, let's get into some funny business. Doors will look really weird going through them in 3D, especially right here. But for right now, I'm going to get Dashiell out and run as fast as possible. Peach can go out of bounds by doing this somehow. And then you can just go get this really fantastic view of the level for a second. I just thought that was a little amusing. I've now disabled the 3D lock, so I'm just going to go through this door and it will put me back to 2D now. But now something interesting happens. I'm in the Samur's Kingdom, and I'm fixing to fight this Samur guy who won't, won't be able to say anything because the game still thinks I'm in the script for Chapter 1, which is a weird side effect to that. And I'm getting bodied here. But, um, basically, the reason I'm doing this is mainly just to show off uh, a certain thing. I'm gonna... Go Luigi for this, and Kudge. Oh, I didn't realize that was actually a ceiling. I am Mustard of Doom. Soon you will know I have the guarding of the 67th gate. There's a reason I chose this section. Your face is nonsense. It is like a sad doodle drawn by a person who is ugly. And now it will have the punishment doled upon it. My sword has fury! I had fury. Now I have failed to slather you in justice, but one day the slathering will be mine. Be off, awful person! I love that. All I have to do is go through this door. And voila, we are now in the destroyed Samus Kingdom, even though the void is now gone, so this doesn't... this wouldn't be possible. Thanks to you, every world is safe. We are grateful for your selflessness and courage. Every world is safe. Okay. Okay, we'll go with that. While I'm here, I guess I might want to showcase this as well. There's another mode. If you put the camera to render at 3D, but the game to render in 2D mode, it almost looks like Thousand Year Door. Like, you, you can't really tell now because this world is completely white.
as you can see, every it looks like um, it's it's a more similar angle to what what you had in Thousand Year Door. Although you can't move up and down in this in this mode, it, it, the game thinks you're in 2D mode, so you just duck. Um, but it renders in a very nice 3D view, which is not really normally achievable in the game. So that is quite nice. I'm gonna go to chapter seven. And the doors are only programmed to be used in 2D, so that's why they're so weird. But, yeah. This is just really cool to, to be able to do. I'm just walking on nothing here. I'm just completely... Okay, you, you get to die. I'm not even anywhere near him, but he still died from my fire. That's, that's how the, that's just because the game thinks I'm in 2D. Although the camera still thinks I'm over on this side. Oh, now I can't flip. Now it thinks I'm off screen. I can't even flip. Ha! Huh. That, that's amusing. Good thing I have this little memory editor to, to help with that. There we go. Ain't that better. Yeah, that's better. Another funny thing about Mario here is he has a, an animation for walking, for, for climbing a ladder from the side, but you can't actually get that in the game. Even if I, I tried changing the perspective. But using that, I managed to get here with the water going. And normally you can't do that, there's a barrier. But, I wonder... If there's side effects. Like, I think I'm trapped here now. Because, uh... You can't get back through there, the underhands are blocking you. I also wonder if maybe this place might be filled with water. No. It's not. I didn't think it would be, because you're not supposed to ever come here when the place is filled with water, so they wouldn't program this to be able to be filled with water, but... It is neat that I was able to get through there using this weird uh, 3D manipulation shit. Because, let me guess, have I trapped myself? I think I may have trapped myself. Oh, well, maybe that, maybe that kind of got me out of there. Right now I'm running this right off the, the packed I, ISO for the game. But I also have a dump, like a, um, an entire file system extracted in its own directory and whatnot that the game can run off of. Using that, I can apply mods. I can create, I can modify the level. Well, I, you can't really edit the levels in this game, at least not yet. We haven't figured out how to do that. However, there is, you, you can edit, you can modify things and stuff. You can modify what enemies appear in a stage, and I've done that. I have a video recently showcasing uh, the ability to fight two Count Blecks in Chapter 1-1. Which is pretty amusing. I did edit the text in that in that video. That's that text is not in the game. I basically it tries to call the script from chapter eight, uh, which is why in that older video I made that shows replacing a lot of enemies in chapter one, that I also showed Count Black in. 
is why it never actually said anything except dots, because there was no script. It was trying to call forth something that's in the Chapter 8 script, but it was using the Chapter 1 script, so it couldn't find anything. So, what I did was I temporarily replaced Chapter 1 script with Chapter 8 script, and edited the dialogue in Chapter 8 script so that it was amusing. But, whatever, I guess that will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, maybe I will uh, catch you later. See you next time, guys. Bye. Well, you know, there is one more thing I have to show you. So, take a look.